Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install and enable Apple intelligence on any iPhone or iPad, even if it's not officially supported by Apple. So this method works on older devices like iPhone 15 or earlier iPads. Before we get started, make sure your device is running iOS 18.1 beta 4. If you are on different version, you need to downgrade your device by downgrading the IPSW file. So for this instance, I have iPhone 15 and this is running iOS 18 right now. So I will upgrade this to iOS 18.1 beta 4. For this, head over to IPSW beta web page and search for iPhone model and select the iOS 18.1 beta 4 update and download it. Now after that, connect your iPhone to your computer and use your Finder or iTunes to install the update. For macOS users, hold down the option key on your keyboard and then click on check for update. From there, select the update file and it will install the update on your iPhone. For Windows users using iTunes, press the shift key and then click on check for update and you need to select the update file. Once the installation is done, your iPhone will restart with the latest version and now you are all set to begin installing and enabling the Apple intelligence on your iPhone or iPad. So step one is installing required apps. To get started, you will need to install two important apps on your computer. The first one is Misaka X and second is Nugget. So these are crucial for modifying your device's settings and enabling the Apple intelligence. All these links will be available in the description of this video. After downloading, uh, you need to extract it. So step second is creating a plist file from your iPhone. So what you can do is uh, if you go to description of this video, you will see a shortcut link. Click on that in your iPhone or iPad. It will redirect you to shortcut app and you have to run this shortcut it will save a file in your files app for easier access. It is a plist file and you have to transfer this plist file in your computer. And you need to do this using any transfer method like AirDrop, WhatsApp, email or iCloud Drive, anything. So step 4 is editing the plist file. Here things get a bit technical but don't worry it's simple if you follow the instruction. So open the plist file with any file editor I'm using VS code you can use notepad and uh, use the control F to find this and you should find the line with your iPhone iPad model identifier under it like iPhone 14 comma 2 iPhone 15 comma 4 just like this and you have to replace it with iPhone 16 comma 2 or iPad 16 comma 3 so the line should look like this now you have to search for this and uh, you have to add these two lines all these things I have mentioned in my blog article so it is available in the description of this video you can go to that link and read carefully so after adding these two lines you need to save the file now that your plist file is modified you can move on enabling the Apple intelligence. So here is how. Uh, open the Nugget app on your computer and navigate to features flag section within the app. Enable the option for Apple intelligence. Apply the settings by selecting the modified plist file you just edited and, uh, and your device should restart after applying these changes. Once your device has been rebooted, you will need to make some final adjustment. You have to open the Misaka X app on your computer. I don't know why uh, Misaka X was not working on my Mac. So I used Windows laptop for this. So you need to open the Misaka X app on your computer, select the same modified plist file and you need to click on Apple intelligence and then select Apple intelligence extra and your device will restart one more time. Once your device restart for the last time, it's time to activate Apple intelligence. So you need to go to settings and here you can see Siri and Apple intelligence. So you may see a message saying join waiting list or uh, you can directly turn on. So you need to uh, click on this message and uh, the feature will start downloading ensuring you are connected to a Wi-Fi. So this will download approximately of 2 GB of uh, uh, files and congratulations Apple intelligence is now enabled on your device. 
After installation, you will notice that Apple Intelligence has some cool features. Even if they are still in early development, you can use the voice command and engage in text-based conversation just like Siri. That's it for this video guys. Installing Apple Intelligence on any unsupported device is a relatively straightforward process. And if you follow these steps carefully, you can enjoy the advanced AI features on your older iPhone or iPad. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. I will try to reply each and every question. So if if you like this video do hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe for more videos like these and i will catch you in the next one